Hi, welcome to Always Korean again. I'm Chef Wan. Hi. Today we are going to make uh, Jammyeol Jibokgum, which is uh, one of Korea's banchan. So, you ready? Here are today's ingredients. The main ingredient is, I'm going to show you. This is dried baby anchovy and um, the size are all different. So today we're going to use smallest, which is chan. Chan mirchi is a baby anchovy. And the other stuff is so simple. This is minced garlic and one and a half tablespoon of sugar. And this is medium, and I'm going to show you all ingredient package later. This is um, sesame seed oil, and this is maple syrup for sweetness. And this is just regular soy sauce. And I'm going to use today walnut, but you can use chestnut and any kind of nut you like. And this is garlic. That's it. And if you don't have maple syrup, usually Korean people use corn syrup and oligodang for sweetness and softness. Otherwise, if you use just sugar, it's too crunchy at the end. And this is a sweet rice liquor. So if you don't have medium, then just skip it or you can put a little bit of soju. My heat is ready. If you have this sheet to get rid of impurity, you can shift this. See? Without oil, I want it to roast this a few seconds, just like this. You can get different size of anchovy, but you can just use it or you can just take them out. You roast anchovy like this without oil. Now it's ready to put about four tablespoon of grapeseed oil. Just like this. While I'm waiting for that, I'm going to slice my garlic. Put this in here and chopped garlic about one tablespoon. Mmm, smells so good and easy to make always. Next step is walnut. If you have really big chunky walnut, you can use knife and cut it just like this and put it here and you don't need to put this always if you have it you can put it in and I, I can add more oil oh it's almost ready and I can put everything sugar oh, this is the sweet and a little bit salty because anchovy is from the ocean and it's supposed to be sweet and salty. I just add soy sauce, then this is maple syrup. Mix it up. Oh. I can smell maple syrup, so good. And the last is meat. Mm. Meat makes your milchi bokum special. And finish with half teaspoon of sesame seed oil. That's it. Pretty much done. If you have sesame seeds, then you can sprinkle about two teaspoons of sesame seed. That's it. And now I'm going to plate. I 
I'm ready to plate. So this is good when it's hot, also good when it's um, cold. So you can plate. And since this is banchan, you don't need to eat everything at one time. Just this is pretty much good for a week or it stay till month. So I think for presentation, I can pile it up a little bit higher, but this is banchan, so not full with the plate. There you have it. Jamyeolchi boku. And I have a niece, a special guest today. Yewon, come here. Have you ever uh, tasted it before? Yes. Yes? Uh -huh. And tell me. Yummy and sweet. Hmm? Yummy and sweet. Yummy and sweet. <laughs>